What is going on guys, my name is Harrison Brown and today we are talking about how you can maximise your chances of seeing cloud inversion and we're starting right now. Over the last like six months to a year, I've been getting asked the same question and it's always phrased in different ways. And it's always, how can I see cloud inversion? Where do you find the cloud inversion? How do I get the perfect cloud inversion? Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So today I'm going to be teaching you how you can maximize your chances of seeing cloud inversion. Right. Full disclaimer, what I'm telling you here will help on your quest for cloud inversion, but it's not an exact science. There is an element of luck there, so this will help, but it won't guarantee it. Starting from the start, what is cloud inversion? Cloud inversion is when you get a magical combination of cold air and high pressure, pushing pushing the cold air down and pushing that fog down. So you essentially just get above the clouds and for a photographer and videographer and for me, it is incredible. I've been in so many situations where I've been above the clouds, got amazing videos, captured amazing photos and it's just surreal. You feel like you're walking on the clouds. And for the bit that you've all been waiting for, how to maximize your chances of catching this cloud inversion. So I've broken this down into three points for you guys, three points to follow if you want to maximize your chances. And the first point is check the weather forecast. Look for high pressure and little to no wind. If there's wind, it will push the fog out of the valley and you won't see the cloud inversion. So you're wanting a really, really still day and hopefully, if you can find it, going from a cold night to a really warm day. That will maximize your chances of seeing cloud inversion. Point number two is the location is key. If you go for valleys and mountains, it's more likely that cold air will be trapped in the valley. So you'll get kind of a sea of cloud inversion with the mountains sticking out the top. I got this incredible view when I climbed the cobbler. I'll play a couple of the clips now. And this view can be seen if you climb the cobbler in Scotland or at any of the big mountains in Scotland that are near a valley because the cold air collects in these valleys and the warm air pushes it down, giving you cloud inversion. So what to do? Make sure that your location is optimum for cloud inversion. Before we move on to point number three, let's talk about photographers and videographers. Finding cloud inversion is a gold mine for photographers and videographers. I myself do photography, travel vlogs. If you guys are new to the channel and you don't know me, I'm a travel vlogger, I'm a photographer, I'm a videographer, and this stuff looks magical behind the lens. You can fly your drone through it, you can get your camera through it, you can take magical photos over the cloud inversion and when you get a C, it is unlike anything I've ever seen. So please tell me your favourite spots for cloud inversion. Where have you gone to see this magical event occur? Have you got photos of it? Let me know in the comments. Point number three, and you guys know, you guys know that I'm an advocate for this. I get up at two in the morning, one in the morning. Sometimes I just pull all nighters and I climb through the night. For example, we climbed up a Corbett in Glencoe. It's actually right, it's literally right there. So we climbed up this Corbett in Glencoe and we got incredible cloud inversion. The thing is, the longer the sun is up, the more likely it is to evaporate the fog, evaporate the cloud inversion. So the longer that the cloud is up, the less likely you are to see cloud inversion. So you need to get up really, really early. I know this is a pain, but it is so worth it, guys. If you watch my vlogs at Ben Lomond or the Corbett in Glencoe, and I catch this incredible cloud inversion, it is unlike anything you've ever seen. So you will thank me 
Not maybe that night, but you will thank me after it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. My name is Harrison Brown. I really hope you catch that cloud inversion. Please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you next time.